Hello and welcome Math 1414 College Algebra um, students to the spring 2022 semester. My name is Robert DiGiovanni. I'm the instructor for the course. And this video is just a quick little introduction. I'm gonna run through a couple of the administrative things for the course. That way we don't have to eat too much time doing that on our first class meeting, which is actually, double check this, um, Monday. So we're gonna be meeting on Wednesday for the first time. Uh, the 19th of January, so next week um, on Wednesday we'll meet, and so I just don't want to take up too much time going through the syllabus and things like that um, during that session, so um, I'm going to run through that now. So assuming you know how to get into ACES here, logging in, clicking on your courses, and then clicking Spring 2022 and selecting your course, which sh should show up here is uh, 1414 Section 8. You click on that and this brings us to our main page for the class. Uh, this system right here is called Canvas and this is where we will communicate and this is where I'll post all the stuff you need for the class. So um, most important thing here on this first page um, is the inbox or the, I shouldn't say the most important thing, the first important thing is the inbox. This is the way we will communicate if you click on that. It's just an email system. I'm sure you can figure this out. Um, here's how you compose an email and select the class you want to send it to and then you select who in the class you want to send it to so most likely it'll be me so you'll just put teacher and then you can you can communicate with me this way so um, that's the first thing that's our inbox don't don't email me through any private email or anything like that because I won't get it like gmail or yahoo or something like that everything needs to be through here so let me go back to this main page. I'm going to switch to a student view, which will look a lot more like what you're going to see. And um, of course, we're going to be meeting on Zoom. So when we meet on Zoom, this is the link to the Zoom sessions we'll meet at. Um, and then this is the passcode. Now, this is case sensitive. So these are capitals here, and this is lowercase r. So uh, make sure you, you're careful when you type that in. So we will meet what next Wednesday for the first time. And what time was that class? Wednesday, 9 a.m. Okay, so we'll be meeting at 9 a.m. on Wednesday, the 19th. So you just click on this, show up, and uh, be ready to go. So um, that's that's our, our information for our linking to the uh, Zoom sessions. Now we have the schedule for the class. This basically lays out the day by day what we plan, what I plan on doing. And you can, I recommend you download this and you uh, just print it out and have it, have it there. So on the 19th of January, we are going to have an orientation, talk a little bit, you know, about questions you might have about the syllabus, things like that. And then we're gonna get right into the um, review section, sections two and four over algebra essentials and polynomials. And then there will be a homework, homework assignments um, for these sections. And these are the due dates for those. So, um, when you can see here we have class on the 19th the due date for the assignments here is the 24th and every day it works like that so the following monday we have class on the 24th we cover two sections those homework problems are due two days later and then on wednesday we cover 1.4 and then those um homework that homework set is due the following monday so um the homework for monday classes is due Two days later, the, the homework for Wednesday's classes are due on the following Monday. So you'll have a little bit more time to get the homework done for the Wednesday classes, but not the Monday. So you have to stay on top of things here. And I'll explain, you know, where you get the do uh, where you do the homework and all that in a second. Now, during the uh, all the Zoom sessions, I will record those, of course, and then you'll click here if you want to go back and watch them. So if you want to go back and watch them, there will be um, they'll just start showing up here. Okay, there's nothing here now, but that's the link to get to them. And then um, this is to go do the homework. I'm not gonna click on that yet. And then I have a link to solution um, solutions to the homework problem. So I, I wanna just say right now, a little disclaimer. I, I made this really on the fly last semester. And so um, <laughs> these videos are not the best, but they, um, will help you. And I don't have all of them done. I didn't, I was only able to get up through section 4.5. Um, and so just be aware that that is a resource for you. I will try and stay on top of the uh, video solutions, um, but don't expect that you're always gonna have a video solution for every homework assignment. Um, so if you need help on it, it's gonna be your job to, to reach out and get help. 
Okay, so doing the homework, I can show you how to do that in a second, but um, we have a separate online system where you go to do the homework called um, My Labs or My Math Lab, and it's through Pearson. Uh, Pearson is a publisher. So what you're going to have to do, and this is the first time we're using this, is, and, and this is, I think, when we meet on uh, Wednesday, we'll have to run through this with, with one student volunteer. We'll have to go through this and see how it works so you can explain to me what you see. Um, but you may have to click here and then link to your account, or you can go straight to here and link to the account. I don't know which of these is going to work. I, unfortunately, I can't test it because I'm not a student. So we will see. But let me click on it. Let me see what it does for me. It's probably going to just kick me out. Let me see. Okay, launch courseware. So. Um, Yeah, it's taking me in, but it, it knows I'm the instructor. So uh, let me see here. I don't know why it's prompting me for all this. Okay, yeah, so it had a problem there. So it was trying to get me to register because it thinks I'm a student. I'm gonna leave student view, go back to this. We'll run through that as, as um, there we go. Um, we'll run through that together again on that first day. So let's see, hopefully this does it for me now. Mm, that looks about the same. Nope, there it is, okay. So again, this is not what you're going to see, all right? But at least I can show you like that first assignment, R2, um, I can actually show that assignment to you. So you can get some idea of what you're gonna be doing online. So it's it'll bring up a set of questions here. It's 21 questions. You'll bring up the question and you'll answer it, okay? Now there's a learning curve to this, all right? I don't want you to get frustrated with the system, okay? I and mean, unfortunately, you're gonna to have to learn it. And uh, so just be patient, all right? So you can, it says here, write the following statements in inequality, X is less than negative three. So I'm gonna put in here, type X, and then there's symbols down here, or I can use my keyboard here for this, less than negative three. I'm gonna check my answer. Good, I got it right. I can move on to the next question, all right? And at any point I can save this and come back and do more later. Okay, so that's the way the homework works, all right? Again, just wanna give you a brief introduction to this. It's, we're not gonna get into all the details. Um, but that's the link to go do the homework. Um, I should also point out that this is also where you'll find the ebook, electronic version of the book. So if you click on um, e contents over there, and you should be able to bring up the e text, and then you can start searching table of contents, different chapters. So we're going to start with R2. So if I go to R2, here's Algebra Essentials. So here's You'll see when I'm doing uh, the lecture notes, you'll see I basically like copy and paste things out of here, the things that I think are important, but I just want you to see that this is what I'm following. Okay, so this is where the material's coming from. And so you can always go back and read through this if you want review things. Or another important thing you can do is if you want some additional problems, at the end of each of these sections, there should be a problem set. And you can kind of pick some additional problems out of there. Well, that's a long section. Oh, uh, here we go. Here's some, here's like the um, exercises. So you could, you could uh, do additional uh, problems as you're preparing for a test. Okay, so let me get back to this main page. So you go, um, and then you got homework solutions. All right, let me show you the syllabus for the course. I'm gonna just run through things quickly because there are some very important things with this class that you need to be aware of. And I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so first time, first thing is, you know, when we're meeting, Mondays and Wednesdays, nine to, nine to 10.40, here's the link, the Zoom link again, the passcode, you've seen all that. Um, now me, my information, um, the most important thing here, ignore the email address because we're using this inbox over here, but I give you my cell phone number. So I want you to understand that I'm here to help you, but you have to reach out for help. So I give you my cell phone um, 
um, number. If you have any questions over anything, you're struggling with concept, um, just text me. Just make sure that you tell me who you are in the text and what class you're in, because I have six classes. Um, and then if you're working on a problem, having trouble, take a picture of the problem, take a picture of the work you've done and send that to me. Don't, don't uh, text me and say, hey, you know, this is uh, John Smith from 1414, I need help on number seven. That's not enough because I might be out somewhere. I need to, it would make it so much easier for me if you tell me, you know, who you are, what class you're in, and then show me the problem you're working on, show me what you've done so far, and then I can respond back. Additionally, if you need help, um, I'm available during my office hours. So these are Zoom office hours. You click on this, put in this password, and you just show up and you don't have to make an appointment. I should be there and I should be there to answer any questions you have. Now, those office hours are open to all my classes, so you may not be alone in there. <clears throat> there may be other students. You might have to wait. It just depends. Um, but these are the hours, days, and times that I'm available for my office hours. Now, in terms of the book, you don't need to buy anything because I already showed you you have an electronic version of the book that you can get to, all right? But this is the book that the course is based off of. Uh, let's see, the course objectives, I'm not gonna read through all that. Here's what I'll tell you though. Um, this college algebra class is designed for students who are gonna move on and take pre-calculus and probably eventually calculus. So it's very important that we understand the concepts of this course and, um, and, and actually achieve these objectives and outcomes so that you're prepared for the next class. There's no sense um, in going through all of this if it doesn't prepare you for the, for the next course you're gonna see. So that's my job to try and help you get from point A to point B here. All right, so now in terms of your grade, now your grade is made up of homework, which I showed you you're gonna go online and do. And then there'll be a quizzes <coughs> and participation. So, the way I plan on doing this is I'm going to give quizzes just randomly. It could be every day. I could do it once a week. I could skip a week. Um, it might be a problem in the beginning of class. I might ask you to um, do a problem, take it home, and turn it in the next class. It's just going to depend. What you need to do is be prepared. So when we finish a class, the next time we meet, you should have done the homework for that class you should be prepared, all right? So if you have any questions, you need to get in touch with me before we meet again, because you might see a quiz and that might start affecting your, your grade if every time you're showing up to class, you're not prepared. <clears throat> so that's gonna make up 15% of your grade. Participation is also part of this. And what I expect from you is that even though we're on Zoom, all right, I wanna see your camera on, all right? It, it, it makes a big difference for me to have students that I can see. So I, I'm sitting in my office. I have four computer monitors here. So I have the one I work on. I have the ones that have, you know, the, the files and different things I'm going to pull up. And I've got two screens dedicated to basically you. All right. So I want to be able to look up and see faces. So that is going to be considered participation. <clears throat> and I understand you, you may not be able to have your camera on every single day for the entire class period. And you don't have to ask me, hey, can I turn off my camera or anything like that? But I expect you to be on with your camera on for a significant amount of the time, All right? If I start to notice you're always, you know, um, just, just your name appears and that's it, no video, there will be a point where that starts to affect your grade. All right, <clears throat> so attendance, <clears throat> I talk about this. It's everything I just said right here, okay? Have your camera on. And now let me talk about exams. Let me pause, hold on. <clears throat> I'm getting over being sick, so hold on just a second. Okay, I just had to get a cough drop because my throat feels real dry. <clears throat> okay, exams. So this is a very big, important part of this class. Your exams you'll be taking on Zoom, all right? You'll be taking them live, right? I'm gonna be recording them. And this, this talks about how I'm gonna do it, right? So class is gonna start. I'm gonna email everybody the exam. Once you get the exam, we're gonna take the first 10 to 15 minutes for everyone to copy down all the problems. Now, if you have a printer, I'll let you go print them, all right? So that first 10, 15 minutes, everyone's just copying problems, printing things out. And then I will officially start the test. At that point in time, you can't have your computer screen on in front of you anymore. You have to be 
you know, at a desk, cleared off, paper and pencil, taking that test in front of me on camera. So what I recommend is that you actually use your phone to log into Zoom on test days and get your phone set up in your room so that I can see your entire work area. And this is the most important thing right here. I expect to be able to see you and your entire workspace. So on our homepage, notice I had a picture of me here. All right, this is what I expect to see during the test. All right, you have to get your camera set up so I can see what's in front of you. Notice I have no like, I don't have a bunch of cheat sheets taped up to the wall here. Notice I have just a couple of papers in front of me. Now the computer screen will have to be off, but notice the camera's set back really far and off to the side. I do not want cameras right in front of you where I cannot see what's actually in, on the desk. I've got to see the whole space. Now, I know students don't like this, okay? They always tell me this. I'm a little too anal when it comes to this, but I'm trying to make this fair to everybody and I want to assess what you know, all right? And cheating has become a pretty big problem, all right? Um, because it's really easy to do and, you know, some sometimes that, that's an issue. So um, <clears throat> you'll, <clears throat> you'll uh, clear your workspace, you'll have your camera on you, I'll record everything. And you'll take the, the test, paper and pencil. Now, when you're done, all right, when you're done, you will send me a chat through Zoom saying I'm done, and then you can leave. And then the clock starts, and you'll have about 10 minutes to take your paper and pencil test and get it to me electronically. Now, I will have sent you a link to upload the work, but you, most students, what they do is they take pictures of their work, and then they take those pictures and they condense them into a single file. And that's what I'm gonna require of you. You're gonna take multiple pictures, condense into a single PDF file. PDF is a certain Adobe file type. I expect everyone to condense all the pictures of their work into a single PDF file, not JPEG, not any other format. It's gotta be PDF. And we will practice this before the test. So, you know, don't freak out. We'll get it figured out before the test day. So once you've condensed it into a single file, you'll upload that to me, um, and then that's it. I'll get, it says here, I'll give you 15 minutes to do that, all right? So if you don't, if, if you leave the Zoom session and then 30 minutes later, you send me the test, I won't accept it, all right? The 15 minutes is just to give you enough time to take pictures, get everything condensed and send to me. Give you 30, if it's 30 minutes later, I don't know if you went and looked up answers or tried to you know, do something else. So I'm just trying again to be fair to everyone, so you've got a 15 minute time limit to get that to me. Um, it's also your responsibility to make sure that the file you send to me actually has clear images and nothing is all blurry and it has every page. So before you send that to me, just open it up, take a look at it, make sure it's what you wanna send and then send it to me. And then I will take that, I'll grade it electronically by hand and I'll send you a copy of that graded exam back to you. All right. now. Quizzes, those can come in many different formats. So just be aware, like I said earlier, that they could they come on any day. Uh, let me see. <clears throat> There's some information about tutoring. There's free tutoring available to you all um, through the Zoom link. And then let me see, attendance. Do I have attendance in here? Okay, yeah. So you still have to attend, even though these are Zoom meetings, you need to be there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much that. Here's the schedule, kind of takes you through day by day. Um, but there was that other format that was a little better. So yeah, this uh, the schedule we looked at here is probably the one you wanna work with. Okay, so that's pretty much the gist of the class. Um, when we meet for the first time next week, I can answer any questions. Um, when I send this orientation uh, video out, I'm gonna put in there an assignment, your first assignment. And your first assignment is gonna to be to take multiple pictures of like several pages of whatever you can come up with and to send those to me. In fact, <clears throat> hmm, I wonder, should I even say that in the email or should I just see if you really watch this video or not? Hmm, let's do that. Let's see how that works, okay? Let's see how many of you actually watch this whole video. Your first assignment will be to 
just get like maybe three or four pages of just random stuff. You can, whatever you want. Don't send me any confidential stuff. Just, you want to get blank piece of paper and write the number one, two, three, four on those pages, take pictures of each one, condense them into a single PDF file and send it to me. Now I'm going to send everybody a link. Okay. And some people who don't watch the video aren't going to know what that link's for, but if you watch the video, you'll know what it's for. So um, let's see how that goes. I'm curious. And then we'll talk more about it. If you have trouble doing it, it's okay. Like we'll, I'll answer questions on, on Wednesday about that, but okay. See how it goes. I will see you all soon. Have a good weekend. Take care.